na mtazamaji kwenye siasa za chama cha Jubilee ni kuwa kundi linaloongozwa na Kanini Kega katika chama cha Jubilee kimetangaza kuwatimua chamani katibu mkuu wa chama hicho Jeremiah Kioni na naibu mwenyekiti wa chama hicho David Murathe. Kega amesema kuwa kongamano wa kitaifa la wajumbe linalotarajiwa kufanyika Jumatatu limefutiliwa mbali. Jeremiah Kioni kwa upande wake anasisitiza kuwa kongamano hilo litaendelea jinsi ilivyopangwa. Muhimu sana zizitizwe kwa sababu wengi wanauliza migogoro ya chama cha Jubilee inaendelea kuongezeka. Chama hicho tawala cha zamani kinachoongozwa na Rais Mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta kimegawanyika kwa makundi mawili. Huku kundi linaloongozwa na mbunge wa Iyala Kanini Kega nikitangaza kuwa katibu mkuu Jeremiah Kioni pamoja na makamu mwenyekiti David Murade wametimuliwa kutoka chama hicho. Hey, the charged member is hereby expelled from the party effective from the date of this decision. B no order as to the cost. Kioni amefukuzwa kwenye chama hicho kwa msingi wa utovu mkubwa wa nidhamu na to he lacked uh, respect for the party organs the charged member by assuming duties which are clear and expressly uh, the express provision vested upon other organs and officials of the party c he failed and neglected to carry out his duties as directed by the party the member failed to call a neck meeting as expected of his duties under his uh, under this constitution. Kega anasema kuwa mweka hazina wa kitaifa wa chama cha Jubilee Kagwe Gishohi amesimamishwa kazi kwa miaka miwili. Murathe naye anashtakiwa kuwa na utovu mkubwa wa nidhamu huku Gishohi akisimamishwa kazi kwa kukataa kutekeleza maagizo ya chama na kutoheshimu makao makuu ya chama. Uh, Mr. Kagwe Gishohi The charged member was found guilty of all the three charges of a gross misconduct b failing refusing or neglecting to carry out directives all instructions of the party and c lack of respect to the decisions of the party and organs of the party hata hiyo inakuja kabla ya kongamano la wajumbe wa kitaifa wa jubilee lililoitwa na rais Uhuru Kenyatta linalolenga kufanyika wiki ijayo Jumatatu huku kundi hilo likisema kuwa mkutano huo hautakuwa halali We have only one jubilee There is no NDC on Monday and this is a team that has been following the law and we are just awaiting what uh, the registrar of political parties is going to forward by next week kwamba uhuru Kenyatta akufuata taratibu na mpangilio na sheria ya chama kuitisha mkutano huo. Kumaanisha mkutano utakayoitishwa Jumatatu ikifanyika itakuwa ni mkutano wa kisiasa, haitakuwa mkutano wa chama. Jerema Kioni hata hivyo anasisitiza kuwa NDC itaendelea kama ilivyotangazwa hapo awali. Members of the public, members of Jubilee the delegates that our delegates meeting is on on monday just like we had announced and tomorrow we will tell them the actual venue we do this because we know the behavior of those people and the executive they have not been keen to get ndc moving they have not been keen to get jubilee Mwezi Aprili pande hizo mbili zilipigana katika makao makuu ya chama kileleshwa na kupelekea mmiliki wa jengo hilo kwa muru waondoke. Brian Mwailu Captive. Nairobi.